皆さんこんにちは、ガザンです。今回は、ミスス・クリーン・アポンのソランジ、レクションをします。I saw that they released this song recently as well. So I'm very excited to see what kind of music they're making now. Because the previous songs I checked out were more of their older music. So curious to see what kind of new stuff they have now. Channel t o r k s t e n e Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I really like the breath at the beginning. What for the high ranges? It's a nice little guitar. I really like the atmosphere they have in the back. That ambient sound.
Very nice touch. Ending the song with the chorus, but on the piano. I think that's it. All right. All right. So Mrs. Green Apple, the song, very like open, very big, very nicely orchestrated. I don't know. It felt like there was like marching influences and then orchestra parts. Just and then just like regular, just like soft kind of alternative music. There is a bunch of different things going on here, but man, the vocalist has very nice control. So, 本当にお疲れ様でした。But before we dive into the song, let's go check out the lyrics a little bit. I can tell that you know it's a love song. I can tell from just watching the video. So from the video, I can see that maybe it was the girl that passed on. And pretty much the song is the, I guess the boyfriend really just kind of expressing himself. As I can see here,、um, here just to see you is the reason why I was born. So the morning starts to comes, and then pretty much like the memories are the proof of your steps. So lyrics like this, you know, memories kind of give me the impression of maybe that's what the song is about. And if we go a little bit more down here. Um, like I pray, I will be able to tell you in the future. So maybe after he passes on, he'll be able to tell her、um, whatever he feels. And then here,、um, it's okay to take a step by step, every day like today. And I want you to be persistent to live and pass on. Usually, when it comes to these kinds of lyrics, like the very deep lyrics, it takes me a while to kind of understand the meaning behind them. So it's kind of hard for me to tell. But maybe from the video and then from reading these lyrics, I kind of see that maybe that's the case. I could be wrong, but I'm not too entirely sure. But even then, still beautiful lyrics, very nice meaning. But let's go back to the video. Right, so now back to the song. Really enjoyed the overall theme of the song. Like I said before, the orchestra influence, the kind of marching, everything was very explosive. Really enjoyed the overall kind of atmosphere, especially at the beginning. I like how the singer started with like a very big opening with those really high like vocals and just kind of really letting everything out. But then the song kind of calmed down a bit in the verses. And that's the one thing I really like about the verses in this song is that they were very different. I like how the first verse was just pretty much him and the acoustic guitar, and then a little bit of kind of ambient music in the back. And then the second verse had that kind of electronic element added onto it. So then that was really cool, and a bit of the piano as well. Usually with slow songs, sometimes they can get boring and repetitive, but I like how they took that into consideration and kind of changed up the verses a little bit, and then. Also, they had the interlude as well with the kind of very faint violin solo. I still think that was violin. The more, just the more, what could I say? The more, by violin, the more much that. And just the way the vocals were singing it as well. Like he had a very like big expression on his face, and the way he was really singing with those kind of highs, kind of match and、uh, kind of like a crying voice as well. Like he was really putting forth all the emotions. So I really like how. He really put himself into the song as well, but overall, just a very beautiful song, very nice lyrics. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time.